Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How you doing? What's up? Um, it's your girl Pancake Garabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stellar. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If you're not, welcome to the party. This is just the way life is, okay? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Alright, uh, let me just put some caveats out there. Ooh. Okay, that had to happen. Mm. Okay, so my captions, they're not always accurate. Kindly look out for that. Sometimes they use a small G for God, so they are not very reverential. And then sometimes they are misspelled. Sometimes they are um, the wrong word altogether. Like just they have, yeah, stunts. I, uh, I apologize. I keep them there because I think they're cute. One day in the future, perhaps, I might just switch it up. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Secondly, I very potentially may be wearing application makeup. If I am wearing app makeup, you'll know. Because it'll be bouncing up and down on my face, flashing like hazards. Yeah, I'm not shape-shifting. It's makeup. Yes. It's application makeup. Yes. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's just put that out there. So don't come at me with a flying kick on some. Why do her eyelashes keep moving? <laughs> it's an app. <laughs> uh, and then... Oh, mm. I mean, I'm t <sighs> Yeah, I have a segment. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. With the vibe. Don't take a short and a jab at me. Please don't. Please don't. Don't take a jabby dabby at me. It would be ideal if you did not steal me. Please don't steal me. Mm -hmm. It would be great if you did not insist on stealing me. Cause I'm gonna have a fly kick. Some people out the room. If they keep on fly kicking at me in the chair, you're gonna end up like this ghost on my top. Cause it's ridiculous that you don't care that when you prick me, bah, I bleed. I blushed my cheeks. Yes, today we succeeded to get it right. Okay, cool beans. Some people gonna end up like Terminator on my top. What? Terminator. I'm human, stop hurting me. Anyway, so guys, oh, it's the 19th of February 2024, and I'm like, mm. it's a Monday. Ugh. Monday is just like Tuesday, it's just like Thursday, except it's really very Monday-like. <sighs> I appear to have abandoned exercise. Mm, so problematic. Yeah, you know, there's just so much demonic attack. All over my grill, 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 <clears throat> my grill. Ooh, my grill. Ooh, my grill. My grill. Why are you all in my grill? I am. Yeah, look, I'm very tired. I am tired. I'm not tired. I'm sleeping. I'm getting all my sleep in. I'm under attack. <laughs> I'm under attack. <laughs> By these demons. <laughs> Trying to pull a stunt. <laughs> In the life of a lady. <laughs> 
And she's not feeling me. Oh, 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 oh. But they don't care. Oh, 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 oh. They're pushing the cart. Oh, 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 oh. Up a very steep hill. Oh, 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 oh. They're not gonna make it. Oh, 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 oh. Up the hill. Oh, 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 oh. But they're trying oh, 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 to do something. Oh, 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 oh. They just can't. Oh, 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 oh. But they're trying. Oh, 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 oh. So oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna make them dead. Oh, 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 oh. But they you already dead. Oh, oh, oh. They're dead than dead. Oh, oh, oh. They died the moment. Oh, oh, oh. They rebelled against God. Oh, oh, oh. So everybody oh, oh, oh. that's hanging with them. Oh, oh, oh. In these ugly streets, oh, 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 oh. gonna be ugly like the streets. Oh, 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 oh. They gon' know who time it is, oh, oh, oh. as if though they ain't never known before. Oh, oh, oh. They gonna finally see oh, oh, oh. that don't nobody move. Oh, 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 oh. In the sight of the most high oh, oh, oh. But like hey, they did try oh, oh, oh. Until the Lord said, oh, you gonna fry oh, oh, oh. Because the kingdom is nigh oh, oh, oh. Hellfire, hellfire oh, oh, oh. Burning a burning oh, oh, oh. Are all these nasty little beasts going to endure? You gon' look like this ghost, except a little less cute. Cause when you're burning forever, you can't be on the chest of a saint like you all presently are. <laughs> Hanging on my chest <laughs> Trying to stick around <laughs> On my uncomfortable chest <laughs> But nah, 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 nah <laughs> You think you got some up on me <laughs> You think the day's gonna come <laughs> When I see all this in me <laughs> Death, death, death <laughs> Everywhere <Ooh. laughs> I'm tired <laughs> But don't nobody care <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> But don't nobody care <laughs> What's a girl to do <laughs> with all of you? <laughs> Sitting on my chest, <laughs> refusing me rest. <laughs> but I'm tired, <laughs> and yet I can't rest. <laughs> Somebody gonna die. <laughs> Try. <laughs> you gonna have some problems. <laughs> Tell me something. Who do you think likes it? Walking around these streets. 24 hours a day Just tired Hey, who do you think is taking it in this try? Always just dragging their body through the mud Cause you rocked up out of nowhere And said, get a life <laughs>
You better not dare. I'm a child of the living God. But some people are in denial. How you gonna be in so much denial? Hey, when it's clear that you've been killed for trial in the heavenly court, that's where you're gonna be tried. And there, don't nobody take no prisoners. Mm -hmm. You don't go to jail. You just get a given the death sentence. Hey, don't nobody take no prisoners in that state. But nah, you're taking it a chance. You're taking it a chance. You're taking the chance because you think that it's up for you to take a chance. That chance is not gonna come. Cause all you have is the earth, 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 earth. Can do one beetle beetle thing. Earth, 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 do a better thing. Earth, 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 and do a better. Cause you that broken record. Do you speak an English? I already asked that yesterday. But it appears they don't speak the English. So it appears I'm gonna be asking every day. I don't want to do this. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this. <sighs> I have no manners because I'm suffering. Because of these banners pulled in my works. Are killing me, kicking me. They keep messing away to my everything. So I'm gonna make them, dude. Uh, that's what Jesus keeps saying, but I'm waiting for the day. I am so tired, and I just can't hide it. I am exhausted, I am exasperated. That is my middle name. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, that is my middle name. I'm so exhausted, I don't know what to do. So these days all I can do is sin about my pain. Why you gotta do all these strange, strange things? If flying around on some brooms every single day, yeah. There's nothing natural about all that activity, but you're carrying on. Supernatural being, ooh. You won't superstition, you won't fireworks. You wanna see spiritual things, but you don't wanna go to the King of Kings. He gave it all supernatural, he gave you fireworks. But you were like, nah, I want them all nasty and dark. So now you're dabbling with sorcery, and now you're consulting a medium. You don't know whether you're coming or going away. The Lord has been a warning of you, cease and desist. But now, brother, now, sister, you are you carrying on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nasty little bugger roaming around my street. Hovering around my sheets and Trying to grab my toe and my leg And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. But they don't know if it is coming or going Bottom line is that me nanky can't tell you I can't keep doing this no more Except God said that When you're feeling all tired Come to him when you are heavily laden and he will give you rest. So, I will be mounted up with wings like eagles. 
I will run and not faint. I will walk and never be weary. Because I'm waiting for the Lord. So no doubt I'm gonna win. Even though it don't look that way. It's obvious one day gonna be that I was the one with the trophy even though I am apparently last took me a minute but like the tortoise and the hare I win even though I'm a little tortoise oh 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 but I still won the race. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow, we gon' see who's the real winner. But you gon' keep spiking me with sorrow, and I'm gon' be like Yasin. We're not doing this no more. It's not gonna be a going concern Because you are gonna be shown some flames in the way that you carry it on But somewhere over your silly rainbow that you stole from the kingdom of heaven And flailed it cause you are sexually perverse and don't care about what God has to say about all that You are going to finally put down that rainbow cause it does not belong to you it ought to be ours in the kingdom of heaven it means that we have been given a promise but not you out here taking a rainbow cause you don't know what it means making it all nasty and twisted you're gonna see what time it is but right now i am sitting on a rainbow it's called the promise of god and until such time that I get my promise, I'm chilling on red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Mm -hmm. Cause you won't call it a rainbow. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why my life is like this. Somebody please give me an answer. I need it. Flash me a cue card so I can read off that I'm engaged. What in the world is going on in it? I've got a problem with the life I am living. I am so exhausted even though I slept. What is going on? I feel as if though all you and the occult, you're gonna end up slept. Ah. <sighs> Whatever. Why well, am I so tired? Why? Wow. I slept. Eight hours, nine, maybe ten. I slept! Oh, I slept. I know you don't care too much, but I still slept. I'm not trying to be taking no naps in the afternoon. Why are you doing this to me? What did I ever do to deserve this? When did this ever be okay? Why do you not have any respect? Anybody could leave because you have no grief. You don't care when my people are in pain, so you never ever wear any grief. Why does this got to be me? Why does this got to be you? Why does this got to be anybody going through all of this sorcery? When are you ever gonna put it down? That won't, don't you see? That it ain't gonna do nothing but hell bound. You is gonna be a burning rotisserie for eternity, but you a sorcery. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this. 
don't know why they want to do nothing like this i'm not exhausted i'm just like no i'm like no nah. oh guys we are not trying to live like this this is the planet it's the society it's the earth people gotta wake up and go to work people gotta wake up and pick up some kids from somewhere people gotta get out of a nap and actually continue to do something baby so why are you wearing us out when we need to be in the street to drive why are you wearing a sound when we need to say boss please stop i'm getting off why are you wearing a sound when we gotta go and wash the baby bottom why are you exhausting people with all of this sorcery when we've gotta go and make the earth go around why are you wearing a sound <laughs> They make me dead. But they're gonna be the ones who end up dead. Why are you wearing us out? Nah, witches, we gon' have a problem. Why am I so tired? We gon' have a problem. You do this to regular James and Jones. You be doing this in the office. You be doing it in the street. You be doing it in your own kishy home against your own sad old husband. So when is the guy ever gonna have enough energy to go to the gym? When is the girl gonna have enough energy to deliver the project? When are we ever gonna be able to do society the way that society should be done when you doing these things? Larecha Tanza, you are wearing us out. Larecha Tanza. You are wearing us out, la rechatanza. You're wearing the planet out, la rechatanza. You're literally draining us, la rechatanza. Redrava ko en one highway, la rechatanza. And now there's a pile up because of you, la rechatanza. All your demons done worn us out, la rechatanza. And now everybody is falling apart, la rechatanza. And now the taxi is in another neighborhood, La Reja Taza. With the passenger having slept all the way there, La Reja Taza. Wanna bat to ufiti le pinville kaufela. Jwana ngoko poti at land, cause na robetsi ko texting, cause La Reja Taza. You're wearing us out, I'm saying you are wearing us out. How did that resident of Pinville end up in Pretty Atlanta? How? How? How did unfortunate, unfortunate soul, how did that unfortunate soul that lives in Pinville, Soweto, end up in Pretty Atlanta? Now the woman gotta go back, pay some money she don't have to go back home. Cause she was sleeping in the taxi, couldn't help but see. As soon as she got on the highway, she was gone. Larry Khantanta, Larry Tubisa, Lyrians are very high. Lyrians are high, I'm just saying. If you like a drop, Harry to be the drugs. Marana, Le Boggy Leuna, you all over these streets. So now I'm gonna have to look at the look at Because on our robots, we got some problems. Why is the lady from Pinville hanging out on Protea Glen? The taxi traveled a little far. She was sleeping, sleeping, sleeping till the taxi driver was like, ma'am, I was going home to retire to my wife and found out that one of my passengers is still in my car. How are you still in my car? Why aren't you supposed to get off somewhere? I didn't even know you were here, but here you are now. Why aren't you supposed to get off back there? Taxi driver. Yeah, the taxi driver out there in the streets on some yo yo yo. My wife is gonna think I'm having an affair because there's a woman in the taxi. Right now at half past nine that night, all this time I'm thinking the taxi's empty. Did my rounds went to garage port petrol. And then next day when I park, a woman is like, oh, what's going on? Next thing my wife is coming out saying, oh, yes, I always suspected you, Gandhi. The poor lady just fell asleep in the taxi because there's a spell operating mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now everybody gotta be explaining mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there is no drama in the man's household you talk at you well whoa bandla that's why you let let it take see me i didn't intend to call it pinfili got a taxi humming um google shingu guba me nice out um gun one more piece in a me way oh for no good you like to get Career. 
So now I slept in your taxi. Hey, shot it, but I didn't plan to do it. Mama, I promise I'm not having an affair with your husband. I am having rather an affair with a demon, it appears. Cause somebody said that I'm not gonna get away with living my life. So I apologize. Do you perhaps want to give me lift to Pinville? I'll give you hundred rand. I didn't want to spend all that money. It was for the children's bread. But now I gotta go and pay a taxi driver to take me back to my bed. Because I slept in his taxi and now his wife thinks he's having a fair. Because la bataga tea in South Africa. Ooh, ba, po, kile. Nazolali sabanya antoni ma taxin. Kaze. The bus is here with school kids in them. I'm like, ah, oh, bus driver, sorry, I was sleeping in the bus. Because you wear us out. Mm. I'm exhausted. I'm really very exhausted. I'm so tired. Uh, <clears throat> that had to happen. I do not have Quran. I don't have the Quran. I don't have the Quran, guys. Because I'm tired. Oh, maybe if I was less tired and oh, I'd have my lunch. Ooh, I'd have a little more the Quran. I just want to sleep. Somebody give me a pillow. Oh, snap. I got pillows all around me. Oh, is that what you're doing? You're taking for granted the fact that I'm near some pillows. Alright, alright, alright. In other words, I am living in a country full of people sleeping. They're not waking up, they're not trying to know Christ, they're not trying to pray the stuff off. So because I'm sleeping around in some pillow-fied places, these human individuals are doing these streets taking for granted a country that's sleeping. The whole South Africa, like the country's like... <laughs> that's how it's snoring. So Kaha were living in the midst of pillows. They're like, yeah, this is one baka. No chance. Guys, it's all back on me now when you're the one that is in a position to be back on. Guwezo pan kwa lana. Kesu yo kwa chiswa ngum sala ni ngoba kinene pawa. We're not doing it. I see singeni. I'm not doing it. Y'all are wearing me out too. I'm not doing it now, Papa. You be out here making kids miss their school buses because they oversleeping because you, you, you're doing sorcery in high school. <laughs> you be out here causing students to fall asleep in lecture halls because you be doing sorcery at varsity. <laughs> you be out here causing your colleagues to take naps in their cars that take an hour more than lunch. Next thing they're facing a disciplinary hearing because you be witching in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you be causing athletes to fall apart on the sporting field because you be bewitching your sporting mates. <laughs> La lawyer. I'm exhausted. Yo, I don't even know what to say. I'm just tired. And the funny thing is, you go to sleep, and eh? you go to bed and you sleep, you're like, <sighs> and then when you wake up, you be like, Ugh, nice, let's start the day. And then somewhere along the way, like just two hours after, You've woken up. You already got that lazy eye. You're like, uh, you haven't even eaten yet, so it's not itis. Uh, 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 sinking into some sheets. Uh, 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 uh. It's like, nah, but I just woke up. I just woke up and like, yo, I slept like a baby. I even remember my dreams. Like what? I had a dream of a candy mountain. So why under heaven am I just two hours after waking up so tired? Why is I so exhausted? Oh. 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 so bored now. This is this is one's for you. Intigaloshi. That's who you is gonna be. Hinilani. You gonna be that Tigaloshi. You gonna be that skeleton. You gonna be that dead dude. You gonna be that dead lady. You gonna be that R.I.P. You gonna be that mortuary. You gonna be that gravesite. Tombstone. Headstone. You gonna be that cold bed. You gonna be that cadaver. I don't know. You don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe. You want to be dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> We are not doing these, you know. 
Why do we have to do this? We're in the parliament on South Africa. Are we not discussing the fact that maybe our economy is falling apart because we are not doing this right? Why is the South Africans so tired all the time? We are not producing as we ought to produce outputs in the country. Cause everybody is falling asleep at the wheel. There is a road accident everywhere. Even the RAF can't keep up with the payment of the road accident fund. Because motorists who are fresh, having had a full breakfast with coffee, are still falling asleep at the wheel. Why in the parliament are we not raising this problem? Why at the state of the nation address are we not addressing the state of the sleeping nation? The regular South African is having a hard and hard time to stay awake and order to listen to the lecturer at the universe. When are we ever going to rest as a people? When all of these Shanguma are making us fall asleep. We want to sleep normal like every people at the night time and snooze. Both we are made to sleep in the office and in the car as we are driving to the office. When are the children going to improve the metric result when they're sleeping? At a time when they are supposed to be studying for the trigonometry. It is no wonder we are losing the fuchsia of the South Africa. Because everybody is tired from the sleeping. Bewitch is the next door neighbor. The very neighbor she greet every morning. Bewitch is the very best friend that is sitting next to you in the night lab. Bewitch is the very person that is standing in front of you teaching you lesson in the school. Bewitch is the very boss that hire you to do the job. Bewitch is the very colleague that you work with to deliver the project. Because you all insist on being number one at the expense of your fellow South African. I feel as if though we need to raise this problem in the parliament because of yours. If we don't continue to raise this problem in the parliament, a whole country is gonna die. We can't afford to be asleep in the classroom. Can't afford to be asleep in the boardroom. Can't afford to be asleep behind the wheel in the driving. And can't afford to be asleep in the middle of the surgery for the kidney transplant. Both the people are sleeping because they have got an unexplained exhaustion. They have an unexplainable fatigue that cannot be identified. Everybody is paying the therapist, the psychologist and the sleep therapist a very much expensive money to figure out why all of a sudden the whole body is tired and their mind is tormented. Both do we know the truth do we not because we claim to be Christian as a country. It is all this devil worship us interrupting with the mental state of the nation. Obviously, they have bewitched everyone into oblivion, so really, I feel as if though in the parliament we need to raise it as a cause for concern that we have not regulated witchcraft. What do you say over there, Madam Speaker? You know, yeah. How I would love to hear South Africa say that, <laughs> like, totally, good cabinet. By the way, raise a state of the nation address, like, proper, in the sauna, we be out there chilling in a sauna, like, in the gym, all hot and bothered by the fact that they calling out witches for who they be. What is the state of the nation? I'll tell you. Tina sits a giveable song, can't see busy lion, got queen, sees it all sits a giveable. No tagging, see Babon Abon. Tina sits a give. 
We are drunk. Look at me. I am drunk, but not with strong drink, but with affliction. When are you going to stop making the other children drunk, huh? At what point are you going to recognize the irresponsibility of doing this in your own country? What point exactly do we have to go and make over and over again to make you realize and discover that this year is your own country, you live in it, eh? You go to the bathroom in South Africa, you eat breakfast in South Africa. Brother, in the next part? I just feel as if though at this present moment you are very defeatist, eh? You go to school in the South Africa, eh? When you want to go and buy a new t-shirt, you likely go to a South African store. You eat here, you bop here, you fart here, you defecate here, you urinate over here. You cry here, you laugh over here. You sleep here and you wake up here. You go to work here, every day you are here. You are walking around spinning on the spot, even that you are doing it here. So what exactly is the problem with you destroying the very place where you do everything? Let me know. I would love to discover what is your mindset. I need to understand exactly what is the thing that you are thinking over there. When you are sitting around destroying the very environment that you walk and talk and do everything you do in, even when you want to spin around on the spot because you have no, no, no wisdom, because you have absolutely no direction, you still do it right here in South Africa somewhere. It doesn't matter where you are at. You could be in Central, you could be in even Cape Town maybe. You might even be doing it in a deep swing, deep slow to Pimville anywhere, but bottom line is you are spinning around on the spot on the very land that is called South Africa. So seeing as even when you do stupid thing, you get drunk here, you fornicate here, you drink cigarette, you drink sugar here, so you get my point. You drink even the cigarette because you are unruly. Eh? You drink the alcohol, you drink the bamba, you drink it all the methylated spirit, you smoke the nyaupe and the flag. You go and you steal the drugs and you deal them. You drink the matekwani and you smoke the matekwani right here. You eat the matekwani too because you are that person that is very innovative with your drugs. You do it all in the South Africa so seeing as there is no good or bad that you can do anywhere other than here. Why are you making it impossible for you to have a future in this country? I need to have understanding. Please explain to me, brother, sister, I have a real, I have a real very deep need to understand. What is the purpose of you destroying the very place where you do everything, whether it is good or bad? Eh? Eh? Do you not realize that you are disturbing the economy? Eh? Eh? Do you not discover that you're the reason why there is gender-based violence? Eh? Eh? Do you not recognize that this is the very reason why even your whole entire Naledi pandemonium does not like Israel, eh? eh? You are supposed to be a Christian country and because of that you are doing very strange things with your pro-Palestinian protest, eh? eh? When you destroy the very country that you live on, exactly what is the point and the purpose? I need to understand where are you going to go and smoke the Nyaupe if there is no South Africa tomorrow, eh? eh? I need to understand. Let me know, brother, sister. I have absolute interest in understanding this very thing. It is a phenomenon to me. It is very confusing. I do not understand it. I look left and right and I'm trying to find comprehension. I dig in the ground and I do not find the answer. But I feel as if though maybe the reason I am not finding the answer is because I, I, I need to do the surgery in your brain to find it there. But if I do the surgery in your brain to find it there, you might not wake up from the surgery because I might be too mad as a doctor to stitch you back up again. I might just let you go pass away. So please, it's Wagataba Abuti, Le OC. Uh, do explain to me why in Kalu said that hey, do you go and destroy the very planet where you even consult your Sangoma? I need to recognize. Somebody give me the recognition. I don't have understanding. Right now I feel stupid. I feel as if though I am unintelligent and uninformed. I am in dire need of education. So please do on right ahead. I will sit down like a little student and you will be the mistress and you will teach me why you are destroying the very place where you even love to drink your bamba about. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this country. <laughs> I'm finished. Eh? I'm finished here with this country. Or, uh, I'm disappearing. I can't do it. Like, what? But you are exhausting South Africa. Which is like, <laughs> your country is a witchcraft state. I can't deal. Like, uh, Lama, is there anybody out in the streets that don't bewitch nobody? Like, what? Is there anybody that don't do no sorcery? Like, I need to know. Because I'm tired. Y'all are like zombies, a walking apocalypse. That's what's good, the walking dead. Jumpy, jumpy. So he said, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy every day. Say so jumpy, jumpy, jump, jump, jumpy, jump, chicha. Say so jumpy, jumpy, all day. All day. 
every day, every day, every day. Me na no. How the body me I'm tired of I am. I keep so exhausted. Hey, I get so tired now. Every day, every day, I'm going to find demon. Hey, every day, yo. Oh. Do you know anybody that fight demon every day? Even Jesus no fight demon every day. Yo. Ah, no servant is bigger than the master, you guys. Oh, Jesus himself never fought the devil every day. Not every day. Eh, casting out rubbish. Every day I have a headache. You like, oh, oh, I need a panado. Somebody give me panado before I fall apart. Eh, every day you gonna go drink grandpa for for who? Cause your headache is induced by Satan, eh? I'm gonna live 24 hour a day, so much rubbish. I was listening to a sermon by Derek Prince. You know, you gotta love dead pastors. You gotta love old school preachers. Cause man, yo, their prophetic gifting was like, <laughs> I love listening to David Wilkerson sermons and Derek Prince. And like, yo, yeah, these prophetic dead men. Won't tell you rubbish right now. What's going on on the planet? Yeah, you're gonna discover it through them. Hey, he was doing a sermon, and I wish I could actually give you the name of the sermon, but I, I watched it from somebody else's channel sharing a, a snippet. I wish I could have listened to the whole thing to find the actual sermon. But he was talking about how it is that the one of the key characteristics of the last days is going to be an increase in occult magic. Hematun, is there a way to find ish? It on YouTube. I am not, you know, cor hey guys, you are corrupting the world, eh? You are doing it. There's no way of discovering, man. Like, you know, when you've been on a YouTube channel, uh, is there a way to find. Ugh, plus, there's no internet. It's a Derek Prince sermon. Go and listen to it. Go look, Derek Prince. He basically speaks about the, 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 the global takeover by the occult in the last days. That which is the strong delusion, that which is going to be people giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. I am so exhausted. Goodness gracious. They like yeah, it's going to be just an increase in occult magic. Like everybody lamp like when you left, right, center, up and down, you just spin around on a spot, you find a witch. Just sitting around, you look at a, a beautiful fresh face in the in the in the taxi where you are going to work. It's a witch. Pretty colleague, she's so beautiful. Yeah. Everything about it is just perfect. Which sitting around in high school thinking it's innocent. It's just children. Witches. Children are witches. Colleagues. Gym buddies. New guy you meet. You be out here on some. Oh, this could be it. It could be Mavi. Yo, witch. And the thing about these witches is they bewitch without it being necessary. Like, guys don't even share like anymore. Filangat. Wang ignora, feeling uh, sort of like Wang ignora, sort of like Gia Bora, sort of like she's top Shayela, onions are like Angwa Zukshela. Remember that song, yeah, Mr. Selvin? Yeah, these guys automatically assume that sometimes of women. Sort of like Wang ignora, sort of like Gia Bora, sort of like she's top Shayela, onions are like Angwa Zukshela. Yeah, that means sort of like she ignored me, sort of like I was boring, sort of like she's the baddest in the game. She's acting like I can't pursue a woman. I can't hit on a lady. So based on your yo yo yo, what is this? Like appre not apprehensions, but insecurities about succeeding. To hit on a lady, you then you just come in with a flank kick. Woof, woof, Cause you Bruce Lee Kung Fu woof, woof. Come in with a Jackie Chan like stunt, yo. Into a relationship. Sort of like Wang ignoring Impella. Sort of like Nia Bora. Sort of like we top Shayela. Oh yes, I like Angwazuk Shayla. Okay, woof, yo. Oh, it's like it, guys. Ay, 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 I'm not I go head sink, huh? It's disturbing me. It's all over. You saw how big my forehead is. It's housing a headache right now. Don't know what to do. Can't take too much, Grandpa. It'll destroy my life. Maragaduzi right here with the whole chunky spiritual affliction because I've got people around me that can't do life without witchcraft. Derek Prince's sermon on the last days. Please go listen to it. Just look him up. Derek Prince. His name is spelled D-E-R-E-C-K. Prince. The way you spell Prince. He was a great, um, what do you call this thing? The deliverance minister. And uh, also a preacher, pastor. Really very sound, very powerful. A lot of the modern day deliverance ministers have a lot to learn from him. Because he kept it so, as biblical. Um, and was not just flagrantly just trying to be ornate and ostentatious with all of the displays of casting out demons. He was actually very sound biblically. Like him a lot. Right, Derek Prince, he's that guy. And he was talking about the, one of the signs of the last days. 
it's just an, an increase in witchcraft it's gonna be poignant it's gonna be all over like everywhere people gonna be using this stuff for everything like everything and those who don't do it won't be able to catch a break we will not be able to catch a break i am exhausted you guys like i am sitting here in front of you right now barely a human being because i am under a lot of attack by spirits earlier this afternoon i napped i don't nap i don't take breaks during the day I'm too busy. I got a lot to do. The days are evil. For the sake of your prayers, be sober. Uh, also, like, don't sleep. Like, just be awake, alert. Oil and everything at night and during the day. You gotta have it filled up to the brim. You can't let yourself capitulate to the darkness, especially when you know that it's there. When you know that it's darkness. When you know that it's sorcery. When you know that Kiritare. <laughs> you can't just sleep when you are like arrowed when, when an archer is archer you know from a mountain top just slapping you with an arrow when a samurai's archer chopping you off with a sword when some random sniper is archer unleashing a live round into your heart you gotta be ready to basically duck it all or put up your your shield of faith and block those fiery darts of the enemy so you can't when you can feel that ebatung there is like a whole ninja and kung fu artist about to land a big boot print right there you can't just sleep but today i capitulated i did i napped because it, it literally took me over like a tsunami that badly and took me up that badly it took me over that badly so i mean if i ended up capitulating to Boroko, get such a warrior when when i'm such a warrior what is the person the regular jane and joe on the street doing like you know what i'm like um i'm currently watching the show on netflix called fire country and there are these like fire shelters that they make using uh that silver um what is it is it as it's not asbestos is it it doesn't burn basically and if a fire is coming to catch you and you can't run because you're encircled you can put yourself in that fire shelter and basically wait until the fire subsides and you get to live through it yeah that's what happened today i had to lean on the grace of god because i was just so taken over by this overwhelming sleep do nothing gather dust allow yourself to be finished off like and i just i yeah i just i found myself just lying in between my pillows just allowing myself to go into dream mode because it was that extreme i wore a fire bomb a fire shelter i wore a fire shelter but like it's for emergencies only it's not a permanent fix it's not something that you you, you should anticipate god is going to constantly put over your body every time you are afflicted you have to stand you have to resist the devil that he might flee from you but in the event that it gets too extreme god will give you a fire shelter but some people don't have god they don't have the holy spirit they don't have a fire shelter they just fall asleep so what does society look like full of people bewitching people with like you are just messing with your sporting mate i know it's gonna destroy the outcomes of the game for your team and you're gonna lose you're out you're messing with your fellow classmate in the school that you study at. It's going to mess with matric results for the country. <laughs> it's going to mess with our past mark. It's going to mess with the quality of graduates from university. It's going to mess. Like when you're out you're messing with your med school fellow student. It's going to mess with the quality of the doctors that finally graduate from med school in the country. Like you don't understand. Like this literally there are ramifications that are so wide reaching and so extreme that I do not know why these people imagine that there's a future with the way they're carrying on but it's the last days our nations are cantankerous like you of course are gonna embrace the man of lawlessness the antichrist because you will have thrown your countries away so much there will have been so much disorder and so much chaos so much loss lack want therefore so much economic collapse that you're gonna now need to worship a man just to get your basic uh, necessities in just to get small little things you're gonna end up taking the mark of the beast you're literally gonna let this guy feed you and dictate to you what religion you ought to belong to you are going to let him control the living daylights out of you because you destroyed your autonomy by bewitching your whole countries into oblivion until you needed a man to rock up and rescue the day and who threatened you with starvation oblivion obscurity if you don't respect him you're gonna take him because you are throwing your countries away as at present look at what was done with me i was somebody's friend at some point at some point i was somebody's lover at some point i was somebody's like really ride or die yeah you get my point like friend i at some point i was somebody's employee at some point i was somebody's respectable daughter and all of those people made a decision to like just mess with my life 
when you grab people that are important in your life in the name of whatever might be your selfish vain ambitions and ransack the living daylights out of them using this darkness you destroy an entire country you unravel it why tatulla you flirt with chicks in the office they don't respond to you appropriately and then you make sure that the woman does not get married in the future i mean just the spiteful society full of people just slapping strangers with witchcraft strangers out of nothing but spite do you know there's a woman that um when i was living in one of the complexes where i used to stay she knew me for two days having seen her for two days you know and casually in the clubhouse and after the second day she decided that she's going to bewitch me i dreamt about it i was like chick you've only known me for two days we were not beefing we we did not have bad vibes she if anything was the one to come to talk to me make friendly small talk conversation and we ended up having this house on fire conversation and afterwards she decided that she envied me enough to basically thought something about my life and my future complete stranger complete stranger mere acquaintance at the most that's what i was people are doing that they're practicing in their own houses they've got candles they've got shrines they 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 cut up uh vegetables and you know mix up some herbs and do stuff concoctions in their own kitchens and so because it is self-practicing it's inexpensive unlike going to consult the sango man paying them a fee so they just bewitch anything they can if a person even slightly irritates them like you cannot step on their toe you cannot braise their shoulder in the mall as you're walking fast briskly you cannot do that because they will bewitch you when you live in a country like that we've got a whole bunch therefore of zombies walking around people literally dazed unawares to themselves that somebody has cast a spell on them and that's why they've got an unexplainable fatigue in their body they're tired they're out of their minds with exhaustion they've slept eight hours and yet they are walking like zombies during the day in the office they can't focus at school because somebody has decided Bukuti, you're gonna start failing you're not gonna do as well as i will they push their agenda along using these things yo guys yes like it y'all like mm. and then i mean the ones with the marriages for me like when you bring a person into a whole life union like that using witchcraft can you imagine all the things that can go wrong in a marriage like that whenever mind just speaking cheating but we're speaking a severity of abuse like gender-based violence we are talking murder we are talking spousal homicide like the kind of stuff that produces murder suicide where it is that a wife is dead with the kids and a bullet is in the heart in the brain of the husband like basically killed the kids and the wife and then that's what happens when you bring a moon into a situation that wouldn't have looked at you if you didn't manipulate them spiritually ultimately you get so insecure and your demons eat alive at you so much that you can kill your three kids your wife and then put the gun in your own head that's what witchcraft produces like they don't think about that they don't think about that they are causing South africans to walk around like mindless drones just constantly tired changing people's affections changing people's ideas about what is to be done tomorrow planning plans for people and there are unfortunately way too many of them operating in any given ecosystem in our offices they're everywhere oh, guys at mtn where i used to work mm, i already told you the stories please i'm not gonna labor again at mtn colleagues and imagine the ones that slapped me duh ain't no witch got one victim i promise you they've got multiple vi victims so the ones that slapped me <laughs> they slapped other of our colleagues they slapped people in their lives personally that they know Godi neighborhoods in Zabona, etc they slapped family members so it wasn't just in the office there's a network a web of victims that they are carrying as they go through life so they're not only heaving the talent of corporate south africa they're heaving the future of the nation there's a woman who cast spells on me that god showed me at the same time that she did that ritual against me she did it against her baby sister so she knocked two birds with one stone in one ritual me and her little sister because she didn't want her little sister to get far she was jealous of her that little sister of which mind you was still in high school at the time and then me that chick has got that much blood on her hands but don't nobody know she's a respected citizen of this country so when i say there needs to be a state of the nation address that basically speaks about the actual state of the nation in other words speak about how it is that we're a witchcraft nation we're a zombie like apocalypse walking around we're a zombie nation if at all there aren't cataclysmic grandos bewitching south africans there are south africans walking around like zombies because they're tired all the time they're making decisions they don't understand the star student in school is struggling to study because i understand the way i'm feeling right now <laughs> actually i'll give you my own example my own story when i was at vits this witchcraft to make me drop my degree during that year i all of a sudden struggled to 
get myself motivated to open my books and study. And once I did open my books and study, it was just so hard to stay awake. It was so hard to stay awake at lectures. I used to think that maybe it's because I'm tired, I've had a full day of work. But I had never experienced anything like that in the years prior. So this here was spiritual manipulation. So if you go and grab that scenario that was slapping me at this and put it in a high school student, we're dealing with failed matricul matriculants or matriculants that did not get into the degrees that they wanted to study because they did not perform as well as they would li have liked to or matric suicides because of failing because y'all know that that happens. We're also dealing with a lower quality of outputs, like I said, with student. So instead of it being a straight A student, we've got a student now that's got B's or C's or D's, or maybe even some F's out here. Instead of producing six distinctions, we have got four or three. It, the results are cataclysmic. 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 Like, I cannot say that enough. Causing a student that is usually very astute to fall asleep the moment they open a book because their fellow competitive student that also gets A's is like Nakehatetsukuba number two on the honors roll. This chick is gonna end up being number two. And then a high school student, Aja, cast spells on another high school student. Next thing, the number one lady is number five, seven, maybe even not even not even in the top 10 anymore because of witchcraft. And the thing about it is they see when the witchcraft starts to be affected. They see it, they do. And then they just stand back on some, oh my goodness, this stuff works. Like that's all they say. This is one girl that used to be my friend. I met her at MTN. We got very tight and then she started to act funny. She pulled away, of course, because she was busy with me. I had a dream of God showing me how she reacted to the whole debacle that slapped me at MTN when I lost everything. When I got suspended and then later suspended and then later on fired without cause from my job. God showed me that she was standing back on some whoops. Life happens. Who do you think you are, Garab? Like just standing back watching your witchcraft happen and then you're like, whoops. She was proud of herself. Some people were guilty for having done what they did to me when they finally saw the sorcery effecting. Uh, but she was proud. There are people who don't even bat an eyelid. They, they're actually happy when they see people fall. But then when you add a multiplier to that, you're crippling a country's economy. You're messing with the nation's health. You are reducing the quality of the nation's workforce. You are reducing the quality of the nation's student force. You are messing with the quality of the nation's acad like graduated academics in whatever fields they're in, making us therefore, uh, uh, what is the word that I am looking for? League deficient to compete with global standards. Even though South Africa produces people like me, it produces Elon Musk. That's what you need to understand. When Elon Musk is not performing at his optimal, he is league deficient. Even though he could have been a world leader, he will suffer just based on being dazed at the time of writing his finals at university. You get my point. You understand what I'm trying to say. You absolutely get what I'm getting, or what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say. What are we going to do with all of this exhaustion? The, 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 the examples I made with the, with the songs, with the singing, what was to help you highlight, like basically just how, how treacherous the situation is. I'm tired like all the time. So when you're sitting in Marewu Abdeksi, Marewu Abbas, when you're sitting in public transportation with this level of exhaustion, you could literally have your taxi drive right past your neighborhood and end up just parked Kopara Busiu. And you like wake up on some what? Like, where am I? Where am I? Like to a point where the taxi driver doesn't even see that you're in there because you are slumped in the chair and in his rear view, rear view mirror does not see you. That that could happen. Yes, people fall asleep on buses all the time, but with the kind of exhaustion that I endured today, it made me lay down, finally. I capitulated. I could not keep my eyes open. It was not just for today. It, this thing is, has been happening all week. I've been resisting the previous days to this, but today I finally capitulated to, an, capitulated to a nap. So when you are tired like that all the time, you must understand you are going to sleep in a taxi. You're going to sleep in a bus. You're going to sleep behind the wheel as you're driving. You are going like, that's what I'm getting at. Like, this is, this is what witch, witches are doing. Like, why is the country not repenting and doing something about this praying? Like, but you know, it's all good in the hood, y'all. Take your little, like, witchcraft state, your little crime state that is South Africa, because God is going to take us home. Derek Prince was right. These are the last days. This is the very end of the world as we know it. It looks like this. It looks like students in high school, gas school uniform, driving right past Pefin and ending up in deep sluit because this is what the, the, the last days is going to look like. People unable to concentrate dazed, crazy, 
all they can do is drink, eat, sleep, be merry. Just merely going through the modes, but not actually living. Take your country. Take your witchcraft zombie apocalypse. Like, take it. I'm just waiting for Christ to come and grab the body. Because at this rate, hi, dear buddy, ain't nobody gonna live through another 10 years. Like, it's not happening. I keep thinking maybe sister girl actually gonna get married. Like, ganja, ninkatele gangang. How am I gonna manage to make, like, literally walk down the aisle to a man? I'm not even gonna finish that trip. I'm just gonna grab a sleeping bag and root. I do. Put it on the floor and just fall asleep on some babe. I gotta sleep. Like, I, 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 can't, I can't resist. Because of how many people would have come against my wedding. I'm sorry. Like, keep your witchcraft state, your zombie sangoma state. Keep it. Keep your sangoma country. Keep your state of the nation address that keeps on talking about issues that aren't really the reason why South Africa is in the state. Keep your complacency and your disregard for something utterly unraveling all of the country from its root. Keep it. Keep your human sacrifices. Keep your, uh, what is this, like, forced marriages, your arranged marriages. Keep your polygamy. Keep it. Because frankly, this is not my home. I'm going. I'm leaving. Siaham. Next part.